Today is Sunday, December 2nd, 2012, and this is an update to the rocket stove mass heater. I had an opportunity today to continue to work on this project, and I have a few slides uh, to show the progression. Uh, this is all the parts uh, wheeled in, ready to begin uh, some more work. This is the uh, combustion chamber part of the J-tube. Uh, I actually cut about 2 and 5 eighths an inch off of this particular piece of pipe. And this is assembled. Uh, there's three uh, sheet metal screws holding each one of these joints together. Uh, this is just a few shown drilling a hole for one of the screws. This is actually the sheet metal screws I'm using, about an inch long. And this is uh, uh, kind of a setup I was using to get everything uh, straight, plumbed, and uh, centered and everything uh, according to the uh, barrel lid. Uh, again, I wanted everything in line with the exhaust uh, pipe that would be coming out, so this is the process I use, process I use to get everything lined up. Uh, this is another view, uh, just showing how I'm keeping everything in line uh, with, by using a couple bars. Uh, this is the J2 portion uh, screwed to the bottom of the lid. Uh, also notice the four holes for the mounting stand have been drilled. This is sandblasted. I uh, just cleaned up a few of the rough areas on it. And this is showing the uh, the first part of uh, being dipped into slurry. Uh, this is a ceramic slurry that I'm dipping this into. I have several dipping process into the slurry. Uh, this kind of shows the how some of the ceramic slurry got on the inside. This is just due to the cracks uh, in, in between putting the pipes together. It also had the first coat of sand put on it after the first slurry dip. Uh, this will go through a couple deal process. Another view just kind of showing the uh, the slurry dipping with, with the sand dipping on top of it. And this is the, the final one. Uh, this has several coats on it, finished up with another uh, slurry ceramic dip at the end. Uh, and before all the uh, comments do start, if they do, I, I do realize this is ceramic on steel. The steel is going to expand, which will possibly crack the uh, ceramic on there and I do anticipate that happening. So what I'm going to be doing probably next, what you're looking at here is uh, the white long rectangle is actually K wool. It has about 3000 degree temperature rating. I dipped it in the slurry, ceramic slurry at, at the one end. At the top of the view is a uh, piece of um, glass fiber or fiberglass cloth. I also dipped it in the slurry also. This is kind of a test procedure to see which one of these routes I want to go with. But what I'll do is I will wrap the uh, combustion chamber in the K wool and either coat it with the ceramic slurry or coat, coat the uh, glass mat and then apply it on top of the K wool. Uh, that'd be the next step after I uh, see how the burn test goes on the J tube with just the ceramic on top of the metal. And as again, I do anticipate that really uh, heating up, expanding and cracking all the ceramic off on that. So uh, that's about it. That's the update so far. Um, any comments or questions, uh, please leave at the bottom. And uh, until uh, next update, uh, probably in a few days, uh, that's it.